Hi, I'm Nina Curley from WAMDA, live in the WAMDA Aramex Arabnet booth here at Arabnet. Um, we're with Hatan Ahmed of ArabRooms.com, one of the companies that's pitching in the startup demo here at Arabnet. Hatan, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you enjoying Arabnet? It's so far so good. It's been, it's been a pleasure to be here. Excellent. So describe Arab Rooms to me. It sounds a bit like Airbnb for the Arab world, but you've explained to me that it's a bit more niche than that. What's the concept? We, we do provide online room reservation portal for to serve specific segment in the local market in Saudi Arabia, which is the surface apartments or economy lodging in, in Saudi Arabia. So uh, this, this category resembles 55% out of the local travel within Saudi Arabia. What is a surface apartment? Surface apartment is more like uh, a hotel setup, but with more space, kitchen at surface, and which can accommodate larger family size because of the tribal habits and the local traveler have different preferences and the age, age range and the group also is higher. So this will accommodate and which highly preferred by the local travelers within Saudi Arabia. So are you mostly approaching travelers simply within Saudi? E are Saudi. Exactly, and we're trying to provide them platform for the surface apartments to put their inventory and provide them with IT infrastructure to to get to reach out to their clients online. I see. And when did you launch? We launched in June 2011, and so far it's been three quarters we're working on, and hopefully we're gonna break uh, break even. We reach the break even point by end of our, f our first fiscal year, which is in June 2012. How have you seen growth on the site? What's the uptake? It's been quite good, and especially that we're, we're based in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and we're focusing heavily on Mecca and Medina market. And it's been, it's been quite exponential, and actually we're quite surprised, and the forecast we're getting is exceeding our expectation. And we're getting also inquiries from, uh, or actually we're getting clients coming in from Norway, England, and Pakistan. So this is opens up a lot of new markets for us that were not in our radar. Interesting. Do you have plans to scale outside of Saudi Arabia? Uh, sure, definitely. Actually, we do have, we link to different GDSs and actually we do have uh, 45,000 hotels worldwide where we can uh, provide really competitive prices and customized service to our clients. And we're focusing on specific markets, which is preferred by the local travelers. And we specifically like in Malaysia and, Tur and Turkey and other countries and we do have direct agreements with those kind of surface apartments like properties which is available abroad plus 45,000 hotels worldwide and growing. Wow, mm -hmm. so you pitched at Arabnet, how did that go? Uh, it went perfect, tonight we're gonna see the, this evening we're gonna see the results and hopefully uh, we need some luck in there. <laughs> How has it been having a booth here? Has it been productive for you guys? It's been really a pleasure to be here and it's been a lot of exposure, a lot of networking and uh, we established a lot of contacts in there and hopefully we're going to see the results coming up uh, after the uh, conference. And have you had any big challenges in launching this site? You're making it sound very easy. Oh yeah, definitely. It's not that easy. It's, the thing is that from, from moving from an idea to be up and running, it took us like 18 months and there's a lot of obstacles in there and challenges, but this is part of the fun. And are either of you originally Saudi, you and your co-founder? Uh, we're all Saudis. I see. So mm -hmm. you know the market well? Yes. So what's next for you? Are you? Have you taken on investment? Are you looking for it? Exactly, and this is why we're here. Actually, we're, uh, we're, we want to raise fund the worth of 1.5 million US dollars uh, because we want to grow to the next level. Over the past three quarters, we were experimenting a lot and we learned a lot. The learning curve was exponential and we learned really a lot and how we're going to operate and we established this network in Mecca and Medina markets and uh, we established good knowledge of our customer needs. So now we want to move to the next level and, and get and, and, and grow exponentially, and we forecasted that in our pitch. And will you have any integration with social media? Or are you trying to keep this a bit more private? Or? Uh, no, definitely. We, we do have, we're working with a vendor now on social media activities, and actually we want to expand and we want to grow, uh, we want to increase the scope of the project so we have better coverage on social media activities in the market. All right, well, let's look forward to seeing the announcements this evening. Sure, and, uh, we're looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks for chatting with us.